So Betsy, let me help you out with the metric <laughs> system. Okay. First we have this piece of string that I've cut to be one meter long. A meter was originally defined as one ten millionth the distance from the equator to the North Pole. But people don't care much about that. If you took a thousand of these end to end, you would have a kilometer. If you did five times that, you'd have a five kilometer or a 5K, which is the high school cross country course. Okay? 5,000 meters. Let's take and divide it, however. I'm going to divide it in 10 equal parts. Each part will be a decimeter, and there's 10 of those in a meter. You can take a decimeter and again divide that into tenths and get a centimeter. Centi meaning there's a hundred of them. There are a hundred centimeters in the meter. Something smaller, take a centimeter, divide it into tenths, and get a millimeter. Here's where your dexterity comes in, Betsy. I'm going to lay out one decimeter. Put your little finger there, please. And another one right there. I'm going to pull it over here. So the uh, width will be one decimeter. Back over here for another decimeter. Then close this off. Can you get, pinch that one too? So now we have a square decimeter or a hundred square centimeters. We're going to make a volume though. Let's pull it up a decimeter and make a cube. You have to envision the, uh, the cube here. So this is a decimeter by the decimeter by decimeter. Or, or 10, 10 centimeters by 10 centimeters by 10 centimeters, by 10 centimeters which is equal to? A thousand cubic centimeters. Or one cubic decimeter. Okay, so that's this volume. If you don't like holding it, get your fingers up. We'll put that right there. This volume of water will exactly fill that one cubic decimeter. This volume of water is a liter. Therefore, a liter is equal to a cubic decimeter. Okay. And just as though there, there are a thousand cubic centimeters in our original cube, there are a thousand cubic centimeters in this volume, but this volume is a liter, so therefore, cubic centimeter is the same as a milliliter. Uh, so that's it for volume. A liter or cubic decimeter of water has a mass of one kilogram. Pick that up please. Now you can experience the force of gravity on one kilogram. That's about 10 newtons because we're sitting here on Earth doing it. If you were to bring this into outer space, you'd want to sense its mass another way, move it back and forth like that. Notice it has some inertia and you have to overcome that. You've essentially made a little twanger. That is what one kilogram mass is. Okay, let me set that down. So this is a kilogram. If we divided that into a thousand, then we'd have one gram turns out that one gram of water has a volume of one cubic centimeter, which is also the volume of one milliliter. To help you remember what that is, without your hand, I have a nickel. That, my dear, is the mass of five grams. So you know what five grams feels like. Okay. Next, this is water. We're going to talk about temperature. The Celsius scale is all about water. The freezing point of water is zero on the Celsius scale. Boiling point of water is a hundred on the Celsius scale. When you divide that difference into a hundred and each one of those is a Celsius degree. The freezing point of water is the most critical temperature for all life on the planet. As soon as the temperature gets below freezing, below zero, you see a negative, that means your 
fall crop, your, your, your summer garden, your perennials are done for because they'll turn to ice. If you have animals or something, you have to make sure that their water is warmed or something, otherwise it will freeze and your animals will die. Very, very critical temperature. If it gets down to minus 10, minus, actually minus 15 is when I have to go out to my chicken coop and lug big things of jerry jugs of hot water so my birds don't freeze. Between zero degrees and 10 degrees, you better put a jacket on when you go out because it's, it's going to be chilly. Between 10 and 20 degrees, you can get by with a light jacket, it might be a little chilly unless you're doing some strenuous work, but it's, it's not all that bad. You can make it without a jacket between 10 and 20 degrees. 20 degrees is room temperature, like pretty much in here now. It's quite comfortable. When you get up to 30 degrees, if you go outside and it's 30 degrees, you're doing physical activity, you're going to be sweating because that's, that's a warm day. If you leave your house in the morning, and it reads 40 degrees, that means during the night, your parents have moved you to either Riyadh, Saudi Arabia, or somewhere in um, the desert, okay? Uh, Death Valley, that's 40 degrees. 50 degrees is the temperature, the hottest temperature you want water in your house so you don't get scalded. So as it comes out your faucet, you don't want it warm at 50 degrees. It's also the temperature of medium rare beef cooked. Um, so those are the key temperatures. Do you have any questions? I don't have any questions. I didn't think so. Thank you, Mr. Godfrey. You're welcome. Thank you.